wooden spoons are. You'll start with a block of wood like this and this is ash but you can use hickory, maple, or oak anything like that, some hardwood and the first thing you're going to do is draw out what you want your spoon to look like and you want to make a thick dark line just like that. Then you'll take a saw like this that cuts on the draw and you'll cut you'll make many cuts down to that line that you just drew and having a vise really helps. Then you'll take a chisel, chisel, and a mallet, and you're going to knock out all these little blocks of wood. This is the basic shape the spoon is going to have, at least from this angle. But because it's a three-dimensional object, you've got to uh, worry about what it looks like from every angle, including this angle. So what I've done is I've gone on the other side and drawn uh, a little guideline. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut down to that guideline and remove wood using the same technique I used to remove the wood that was in here. Then your spoon should look like that from the side. You can see I've removed the wood in here. The next tool I'm going to use is the utility knife. And this is just a razor blade with a handle. Uh, so it's very, very sharp. And you've got to be careful using this if you're going to carve the spoon. So always cut away from yourself. Um, never cut toward yourself. Don't force it. Um, be gentle and, and careful and slow and you should be good. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to smooth out this curve, I'm going to round off these edges, and I'm going to finally finish the the shape of the spoon overall. Throughout this process I'm constantly looking at it and feeling it with my thumb to make sure I'm following my guideline and to make sure it feels uh, like a smooth, nice smooth curve. After a while it will start to look like this and you can see I've uh, smoothed out that curve and smoothed out this curve as well. Now all I have to do is round off these edges here. You can kind of see that one. And do a little more shaping on the handle and do some shaping on the bowl up here. So now I have the bottom shaped the way I want it. It's got a nice curve around the bowl and a little handle. It's easy to grip. Now all I have to do is carve out the bowl. And I've drawn this line about a quarter inch from the edge, from the very edge. And that's going to help me uh, not 
carve any further out than I have to. I'm going to carve within that um, within that line. For this I'm going to start with a gouge about that big. I'm going to finish with a gouge that's about that big. Now I'm going to take this edge in here and on the outside and round it off just ever so slightly with my utility knife. And then you sand and sand and sand it until you just can't sand it anymore. And then you take some olive oil and because it's going to be used with food, right? So you can't stain it with something, something awful. Uh, so I just finished it with olive oil. Makes it a little darker. Helps seal it, stabilize it a little bit. And there's your wooden spoon. So thanks for watching. Bye.